Mormons have been emphasizing preparedness and self-reliance since the early days of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, or LDS Church, which was founded in the early 19th century. Prepping has become synonymous with the Mormon culture, setting them apart with their meticulous readiness for any eventuality or SHTF. So let's find out what the motivations are behind Mormon prepping, the practical steps they take, and how it aligns with broader prepping principles, and what exactly they're told to stockpile. Mormons are arguably the first real preppers. So why did they choose to prepare, and what are the things they focus on? Mormons view preparedness as not just a practical necessity, but a spiritual calling, emphasizing self-reliance and autonomy. Mormons stockpile food as a fundamental aspect of their religious teachings, which emphasize self-reliance and preparedness for both personal and collective welfare. This practice stems from historical experiences of adversity and the belief in being prepared for unforeseen challenges or SHTF. But there are religious reasons also behind the Mormon emphasis on stockpiling and preparedness. One scriptural basis often cited is found in the Doctrine and Covenants, a book of modern revelations in the LDS canon. It states, If ye are prepared, ye shall not fear. This principle is often interpreted as encouraging members to be spiritually, temporally, and physically prepared for challenges and emergencies. Typically, Mormons aim to maintain a food stockpile that can sustain their households for at least one year, ensuring they are equipped to weather any various emergencies and SHTF with resilience and stability. From the Latter-day Saints main website, here is the direct quote on Mormon food storage. The First Presidency recommends that church members begin their home storage by storing the basic foods that would be required to keep them alive if they did not have anything else to eat. After they have a year's supply of the basics, they may then add other foods they're accustomed to eating regularly. So let's take a look at a basic food list all Mormons are to follow. According to the LDS Church's recommendations, one single adult should maintain a stockpile that comprises the following. Grains, 400 pounds, encompassing a variety including wheat, flour, rice, corn, oatmeal, and pasta. This diverse selection ensures flexibility in meal preparation and sustenance. Legumes, 60 pounds incorporating dry beans, split peas, lentils, and similar items to provide essential protein and nutritional variety. Powdered milk, 16 pounds, serving as a reliable dairy source with an extended shelf life, crucial for meeting nutritional needs. Cooking oil, 10 quarts, offering versatility in cooking methods, essential for meal preparation and nutritional balance. Sugar and or honey, 60 pounds, serving as essential sweetener for cooking and for eating, ensuring long-term stability. Salt, 8 pounds, providing essential nutrients and flavor enhancement in culinary preparations, contributing to overall dietary health. Additionally, a two-week water supply comprising 14 gallons per person is recommended to address immediate hydration needs during emergencies. For long-term security, a substantial recommendation of around 350 gallons is suggested, utilizing practical solutions like water filter systems and rain collection systems. Interestingly, three survival sites I visited that had food stockpile calculators were surprisingly similar in the quantities to what the Mormon Church recommends. I mean, there were additional items on the survival sites like yeast, baking powder, baking soda, peanut butter, and other items. But that was the most noticeable difference with this list. Also notable is a lack of canned goods, in particular meats, that are not on the list. The reason for this lies in section 89 of the Doctrine and Covenants, commonly known as the Word of Wisdom, which gives members dietary guidelines. It says to consume fruit seasonally, 
eat meat sparingly, and to eat grain, especially wheat, which is referred to as the staff of life. And since they're following their religious doctrine, it makes sense that they wouldn't have canned vegetables or canned meats and would stockpile a lot of grains. Additionally, you won't see coffee, regular tea, alcohol, or tobacco on any Mormon stockpile list, although I couldn't find any information on whether they were allowed to stockpile it for bartering purposes. This is because in their word of wisdom, they believe the Lord commanded them to abstain from alcohol, tobacco, and to not drink hot drinks like coffee or any tea other than herbal tea. If you're interested, I highly recommend you check out the Mormon website. It's super interesting. They have free emergency preparedness guides for various disaster scenarios. And all of their recommendations feature working with others in the community to pool resources as well as for added support. Mormon prepping is deeply rooted in their religious teachings, emphasizing self-reliance, preparedness, and community support. By adhering to scriptural principles and practical guidelines, Mormons strive to ensure their readiness for any eventuality while promoting resilience and unity within their communities.